Hello, everybody, and welcome again to Faith on Friday Extra. This series is all about highlighting inspiring people, engaging topics, and some really interesting businesses. And I'm your host, Ricky Smith. Today is no exception. So we are leaving my home state of Texas and we're going all the way to Chicago, Illinois. And we're going to meet Ms. Justice Plummer, who is the owner of Just Us Suites. Hi, Justice, how are you? Good, how are you, Ricky? I'm so good. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm honored and I'm excited to talk about my business and share it with the world. Well, I'm excited to hear about it because, first of all, it's just us sweets. You had me at sweets. Tell me a little bit about your business. What is it? Well, my business is a chocolate uh, dessert shop. I sell chocolate turtles. I sell pound cake. I sell cupcakes, just different variety of chocolate desserts uh, made to order. And uh, for the person that really loves chocolate and really is looking for something authentic and homemade and made uh, sustainably, Okay. I love that. First of all, you have me at sweets. And then you said somebody made specifically for those who love chocolate. So what you're saying is the place should be called Ricky's Sweets because it's, you know, (laughs) I'm all about the chocolate. So now I know I'm I'm down for it. Now your business is pretty new. When did you get started? I got started um, June of 2020. So in the middle of a pandemic, you decided to open a business. Girl, what is wrong with you? (laughs) (laughs) So talk to me about that. How did you get started and what possessed you, literally possessed you to start a business in the middle of a pandemic? Well, um, I didn't really have a job and I kept applying for different jobs and I wasn't hearing anything back. So an idea sparked in my head that maybe I should uh, create my own job and then I'll be able to have a job and a source of income. And so I decided to uh, do that. And then I came up with Just a Sweets because I had always had an interest in culinary arts and I had family recipes and uh, I was skilled at... uh, I was skilled at this, and uh, I also, during the pandemic, there was the uh, cultural changes going on with the police brutality, and I wanted to give a positive response to what was going on and to give something for my community to be proud of. Justice, that's amazing. So when you talk about the civil unrest, you're talking about, was that the George, George Floyd incident? Yes. Wow. How did that affect you starting your business? I love what you said about you wanted something positive because we saw so much negative during that time. How did that affect you getting started or affect the business? It made me uh, reevaluate what was going on in my life and made me want to uh, become more positive instead of being negative. Instead of you know, uh, it's, uh, instead of just protesting, I wanted to make something that was tangible and something that people could hold and that they could value and that they could have for a long time and a hard, concrete answer to uh, the police brutality going on. I didn't want to just be for the moment. I wanted to be something that lasts the test of time and something that maybe disrupted the uh uh, injustice is going on where they yeah. weren't expecting, you know, they were expecting to be sh- us to be shouting to us to be storming the streets, but they weren't expecting us to start a business and bring economic freedom to our people. Wow. Justice, that is amazing that you thought all of that in the middle of the pandemic, because like I said, we had that going on and there was still a pandemic. People were you know, locked up. They couldn't come out. They were doing this. Did you start the business in your home or did you start out with a building? Um, I started out in my home because I said, let me just start where I am right now and let me do it. And mm-hmm. Just just to do it and get it out there and get it going. Mm-hmm. And, and it sounds like you did. So how long before you left the house and went into a store? Um, well, um, I haven't actually gotten into a store yet, okay. but I'm working on it. Uh, I'm still trying to uh, 
to to build up my clientele some and get mm-hmm. into some store. I looked at a couple of stores and I just have to follow back up with them. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm trying to do some more catering events and just to get my name out there more. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Being a young entrepreneur, what kind of struggles did you face up front? Not just the civil unrest, not just the pandemic, but just about getting a business started and you're selling food. What, yeah. what did you come up against right away? Um, I guess the first thing is um, people's taste preferences. Uh, everybody has a different taste palette and they're accustomed to uh, their own desserts. And, you know, they're used to maybe their grandmother's cooking and everything. And I'm not. I'm not up there in the age. I'm young and just starting out. So it was like a little bit of, oh, what? I don't know. Let me see about you. (laughs) So it's starting to uh, get the trust of my customer. Mm -hmm. I think uh, next was uh, funding, just uh, having enough money to make my desserts, to do advertising, because it's a lot of cost that goes into running a business Mm -hmm. and um, having that uh, initial capital uh, was a struggle. And then uh, the last thing is to not be a procrastinator or Ooh. react. It was to learn to become more proactive and to use what I have around me instead mm-hmm. of settling down and saying, oh, I can't do this today because I don't have this, that, and the third. It's learning to become more creative and seeing how I can, uh, I can have everything that I want to have mm-hmm. and I can do everything that I want to do in my business. Right. Man, that is that is so huge. I mean, there are so many people who start businesses, but like you said, don't have all that it takes and they'll give up really quickly. Now, where did you get the idea for the Just Us Sweets? I mean, you said you were um, interested already in culinary arts. Where did you get your recipes and things from? Well, I got my recipes from my family. Um, both of my grandmothers, they bake. My uh, maternal grandmother, she's a, she's a decorated baker, and she does baking on the side and, and stuff. And I wanted to carry on her generation and use some of her recipes because her cakes are just so amazing. And people <laughs> have throughout the years loved them. And she's like refined the process of uh, baking. She, you know, her pies are like with a thinner crust instead of like the traditional thick crust. And her cakes use fresh ingredients. And uh, she does uh, different, like uh, she has this strawberry cake with a whipped frosting instead of a buttercream type of frosting. Uh It is so delicious. And like her ideas are really innovative. So I want to to bring those in. And then my other grandmother, my paternal grandmother, she uh, she taught me the turtle recipe when I was a little girl. And uh, I really, really loved it. It was like uh, her authentic uh, Southern roots coming out mm. and they were so, so flavorful and so tasteful. I knew I wanted to share this with the world. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you are doing big things and I'm excited for you to be doing this. Now, as you're doing this, do you have other young girls that coming to you wanting to know how do I start a business or what can I do? Because you figure there are a lot of people at this time trying to get businesses off the ground. They don't know where to go. They don't know what to do. They think that they have to have it all before they get started. And you just said kind of do what you can where you are. Oh, yeah. I see my cousin. Uh, She's interested in culinary arts now. And she's been trying to cook and stuff. And she kind of, she's, well, her first time around, she didn't do as well as she wanted to. Mm -hmm. But, and I think she kind of took it like, uh, not negatively, but more, uh, she wants to get better. And so Mm -hmm. she wants me to help her out and teach her the ropes and everything. So I'm trying to teach her how some of my culinary skills and everything so she can open her own business one day wow. and sell her uh, products too and get her friends involved. And then just a lot of other young girls involved because I think mm. it would be really good and beneficial for them and give them something to, uh, to be proud of and to call their own. Yeah. My goodness, so many. You are such a wealth of wisdom, Justice, and I love talking to you. Hey, you guys, if y'all are enjoying listening to Justice, trust me, all of her contact information will be in the description below. Before I go, 
Justice, do you guys do, are you doing things like online? Can people order online they to be can. shipped out? It can, yes. and it can be shipped out. And um, I can custom my, well, I have what I, uh, I have my stuff on my website, but I'm open to other ideas and other uh, options. So if somebody had something they really specifically wanted, I'm able to uh, make that as well. Okay, so y'all heard it here. She is willing to do custom work as well. Like I said, all of her contact information will be in the description below. But don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. Justice, before I let you go, my friend, we have to play a game. <laughs> okay, so this game is called This or That. It's pretty simple. I'm going to give you the choice of two things and you, off the top of your head, just tell me which one you like the best. Are you ready to play? Yes. Let's do this. <laughs> flowers or plants? Uh, flowers. Okay. Hotel or a tent? Tent. Really? You're an outdoors girl? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, ma'am. Water park or amusement park? Water park. Mm. Practical joker or I don't play like that? Uh, practical joker. <laughs> okay. Candlelight or moonlight? Moonlight, yeah. Yeah, and we're back to that outdoor thing with you. I don't know. Yeah. Are you a planner or do you make it up as you go? Make it up as I go. Yeah, me too. So spontaneous. Um, I go all day or I need a nap? I need a nap, yeah. <laughs> me too. In, when you're talking and because you're a baker, is it pecan or pecan? Uh, pecan. Is it? Okay. When you notice somebody first, do you notice their eyes or their smile? Their smile. Okay. Yeah, you have a beautiful smile, by the way. Are you a words of affirmation person or do you, are you an acts of service kind of person? Acts of service. I could see that. So now, though, as young as you are, what would you tell your younger self? To keep going. Don't stop. I love it. I, I do so much. Justice, thank you so much for joining us. And with all your insight, I really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, everybody. That's it for this time. But we'll see you next time on Extra.